At this point, a vast majority of people dying from COVID-19 did not have to lose their lives. Their unwillingness to get the shot led to suffering and death. Here in Kern County, by our count, at least 83 people have died from the virus since vaccines became eligible to everyone 12 and older. One of those was Nina Martin, and her dying wish was for others to learn from her mistake. Nina Martin loved her family. A couple times a year, she and her three sisters planned a getaway. We would go to the mountains, we'd go to the beach, we would go to Hawaii, we would just do crazy things. This summer, Nina was excited when things were opening back up. She went to baseball games. She was a huge San Francisco Giants fan. She even went to a game last month. I think we're the first ones here. The worst of the pandemic seemed to be in the past. So she thought, but her family worried. In June, Nina's sister texted, nagging her to get the vaccine. Nina responded, I don't need it. I just don't want to get it. There's no reason for me. She did not have any underlying issues. She was healthy. She was active. Uh, she was always out doing things. She did not, she was not overweight. She did not have those issues, uh, which I think is part of the reason she didn't feel it was necessary for her to be vaccinated. She was wrong, as became clear on July 24th when she tested positive for coronavirus. So I have COVID. I'm in the hospital. She called me and said, sis, I tested positive, but I'm going to be fine. She wasn't fine. And no, I didn't get the vaccine. Because of the infectious nature of COVID, she was in isolation, unable to have visitors. Within a few days, she rapidly got worse. COVID quickly wreaked havoc on her body. She was in the hospital alone from August 1st. Her body continued to go down that whole time. And there was nothing that was wrong with her to cause that. It was the COVID that was attacking her. Hooked up in the hospital and attached to different machines, Nina realized she needed the vaccine, but she knew it was too late. Should have definitely got that vaccine. Nina's intense battle with COVID illustrated in the heartbreaking text to her loved ones. She texted her dad one day saying, I'm suffocating. Her father texting back, just keep breathing. You're a fighter and you're strong. Just keep up the good fight. Love you, my sweet Nina. I literally watched my sister over a 20 day period of time die and she drowned in her lungs. She would call me on FaceTime, struggling for her next breath. She would text me saying, Sissy, I'm afraid I'm going to die. Please take care of my children. Early on August 14th, Nina took her final breath. She died alone in the hospital. Just one month ago, the sisters had been planning another girl's trip. Now, they're planning a funeral instead. I just don't want other families to feel what we're fam feeling right now because this is the pain is so immense that it's hard to explain. Pain the family is afraid others will feel because so many are still unvaccinated. Pride comes before your downfall. You may have been telling everybody not to get vaccinated. You don't need to get vaccinated. This isn't going to impact you. And so in your heart, you've believed that. Don't let that cause your death. Don't let that cause the death of one of your loved ones. It's okay to admit maybe I was wrong. Her family is hoping their tragedy will show this virus doesn't kill only those with underlying conditions. It's also killing otherwise perfectly healthy people, and it's mostly preventable. Healthy mothers and fathers out there with young children, this could and will affect you. This is serious. Don't be prideful about this. You don't even have to tell anybody. Just go down to the drugstore, walk in, and you can get vaccinated today. Nina was 53 years old, and the family says her death certificate reiterates she did not have any underlying conditions, meaning the virus alone was responsible for her death. Local health experts say the best way to prevent severe disease and death is to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Vaccines are considered safe and they're free. Those 12 and older who want the vaccine can make an appointment at myturn.ca.gov.